New at 10, tri-state uh, firefighters say they can never be too prepared to extinguish a fire in these below freezing temperatures. WGEM's Claire Edlin joins us in studio now with why this poses a challenge and what you can do to help your local department. Daniel, Hannibal firefighters tell me they ran into a major hurdle when they had to put out a structure fire earlier this week. One of the fire hydrants they say that needed to have access to was frozen over, so they had to spend additional time torching it. Fire officials say in total it took them more than five hours to put out the fire. Not only this, but spending too much time outside between extreme temperatures, as you can imagine, is not good for their health. Now, in some of this video here, if you look at their uniforms, you'll see what many could quickly assume is ash or debris, but really, it's uh, ice from all the water they're exposing themselves to. So they have to, you know, prepare themselves to be out where they could get hypothermia, frostbite. Um, we deal with all that water. The water has to go somewhere, and plus when we're working, we're sweating and getting very hot, so that's a challenge in itself to mentally get yourself ready to go outside and, and fight fire in an extreme condition. Kemker says keeping water circulating in their hoses is really crucial this time of year. He says they often need to pull resources from public works or highway departments to assist. And they also need to keep an eye on the water outside of the hose too. They say a small mistake like placing a ladder on an icy surface can cause bad injuries. Daniel? All right, thanks, Claire. Kempter says they also need your help to keep the department safe. First of all, you can avoid a severe fire if you have smoke detectors. He says to please clear snow from hydrants before they freeze over to avoid incidents like the one that happened this week. He says if you can, try to salt those icy surfaces in your neighborhood also so first responders don't slip and fall.